What is up, bitches? Uh, actually, let me let me rephrase that. Hi, how's it going? How how was your day? M mine's good. I've been playing Medal of Honor all day. That's that's pretty. It's pretty good. I played I played with one friend, and this is the gameplay from me and my one friend playing Medal of Honor because everybody else thinks Medal of Honor is horrible. Well, actually, it's in beta, so I hope you guys know that the beta is different from the real game. But anyway, we're gonna be talking about the or my favorite class, and that is the Demolitions class. The reason why I love this class is because like, I, just the reason why I love this game is because everything is pretty, everything's equal. And the one thing about this game, or this class, is that you have a extra 100 armor, which takes an extra whatever amount of bullets to get you down, but you can only use that armor once every life. Now, what the armor does is you put a little face mask over, you can see in the gameplay here, I put a face mask over myself, and it gives you 100 armor at the bottom right corner, it shows the amount of armor you have. Now, once that armor depletes, your face mask gone. Face mask is gone, and you have regular health. Another thing I really like about this class is that, well, just another thing I like about the game itself is that it, it doesn't make the class overpowered. So when you have the armor on, you walk slow. Even when you have the armor off, you're pretty slow, but you can still run. But when you have the armor on, you can't jog with it. I really like this class because of the guns you can use in this class. My most used gun so far is the AKS-74U, which is the gun with that's with this class. I also like the killstreaks in this class. You get grenade launchers, you get an RPG, or it's a small, I think. You also get the, um, what else do you get? You get a little robot that you can use. These are all, like, things that help you out. You can also have support, support like, killstreaks that you can help out with your team. But then you also get the Apache helicopter as your last killstreak. So I love all the killstreaks for this kind of setup and the character for the setup looks pretty badass with the mask on when you look at the guy and it's a really fun class to use and if you guys have not used it and you guys have the game or have the beta try to use it it's a fun class to use i like to use iron sights on almost all my guns that i can use iron sights on the ak-74u or the mk-16 the only two guns that are for the demolitions class so far because it's in the beta there's only like two guns per class that I'm using, or two guns per class that you can lock in the beta. So I usually use the AKS-74U because it's just more simpler and smaller than the MK-16. And I like to use the iron sights because it gives me more, like I could see the screen more. So with that full face mask, I would like to have a um, smaller sight so the bigger sight doesn't take up the entire screen. So just in case there's that enemy to the right of you or the left of you, you can see because you have the smaller sight. Another thing I really like about this class is just the style of the class, just the kind of like heavy type of class, you, or just the heavy type of class style, because when you're walking around, you feel like a total badass in this giant body of armor, just because it also shows that you're in the body of armor when you have the face mask on, and it's just really fun to use. And as you can see in the gameplay, me and my friend are using a lot of teamwork, and that's what also helps out a lot when you have a squad mate that you're talking to, or just a buddy that you're talking to, because it helps out a lot to tell you guys, hey, I'm going to cover the left, you cover the right. Oh, I just died. Get that guy. He he ends up, I think he ends up killing this guy, and once your buddy kills the guy, you spawn quicker, and that actually helps out a lot. I think he actually, he might die here. Yeah, he might die, but you spawn quicker if your buddy kills the enemy and gets a revenge from the enemy. Another thing I want to tell you guys about is that there is a lot of different type of weapons for each class. I think it's around 12 weapons per class, so many of you are like, there's not that much weapons in the beta. Well, yeah, it's the beta. A lot of people are complaining for some stupid things in the beta, kind of like, why isn't this in the beta? Well, it's a beta. It's not the actual game yet. So many things are going to be coming out in the real game, and supposedly there's going to be a lot of maps in the real game. Unlike other games, it's going to have a lot of maps that I really like. And or that's one thing I really like about the game. Another thing I really like about the game is just the amount of classes you can choose and the amount of characters per class, different kind of countries and stuff. And each character or country has different kind of styles of uh, gameplay, like one might have more stamina while the other might have more uh, magazine size. It's just stuff like that. And that's the little stuff really counts for this game, and I love it. Another thing I want to talk about is the kind of Warfighter Nations, what kind of, what do the tokens go for? This is for the people who actually have the beta, or who are going to be using the tokens towards the nation. Now, tokens 
I didn't know what they did, and I wanted to save them, but I was looking up on the forums and was looking up at questions that they were answering, and it said that the tokens will be resetted once the actual game comes out, and I was kind of like, oh, that sucks, I was saving all these tokens, but come to find out, when you spend tokens, each every other day you spend it, you get a multiplier bonus, so I spent it once yesterday, and I'm going to spend it again today, that means I'm going to have double the XP today, so that's pretty cool. So the top of the leaderboards right now is the United States with 270 or 274,601 tokens and that leads us or that makes us at the top of the leaderboards. Sorry other countries. I guess you guys all have PS3s or PS or PCs which is I guess better. The PCs are, not the PS3s. Sorry PS3 players, I love you too. But yeah, that really that's pretty cool cuz it gets to it shows you that they really care about you getting your level up as well as you representing your country so i really like that and it also gets you xp when you're spending tokens so you get a ribbon it's like spend 10 tokens and you get like 500 xp so that's also really cool i just love the system of the gameplay and the awards and there's also another system where you get tours for the class you're using i haven't gotten any tours except for the demolition class you have to get 50,000 points kind of like service stars for or in battlefield 3 but it's um, they're called tours and you get 50,000 class score total class score and you complete that entire tour so I've completed one tour in the demolitions class and that's how much I really like that class that's why I call it my favorite class and um, many people are wondering if there's anything overpowered in this game I do not see anything overpowered in this game I actually see everything's equal like many people say that the class I'm using is very overpowered but really if you're using a heavy class and you're walking really slow and you can't lay down, when you lay down, you cannot use the actual mass, you can't use your armor ability um, when you're laying down. I mean, I think that's perfectly fine. It's um, It just makes the class more unique, and each class is unique, like I said in other videos. Like, the Spec Ops class, you run faster, you don't have the heavy armor, but you have this ability where you get to see where the enemies are for like a split second. Or I think it's like five seconds, but that helps out a lot. So each person or each like area have its own uh, like abilities. I know the heavy gunner and the sniper has the ability to use their bipods, which helps out a lot. Um, not too much for the sniper on this certain map that we're playing on right now. The only map in the beta it doesn't really help out for the sniper for me. That is, but like each class is unique. I think the assaulter has the grenade launcher, and I forgot what the pointman has. But I just love how each class is unique. It kind of brings me back to the days of when, like, I was playing a game where each class has a special ability, and you can't have, you can't use every single gun for that for like one class. Kind of like Call of Duty, where you can use any kind of gun for any kind of class you want to make. I really like this game because it brings out the inner kind of class you want to use, and it shows how good you are for that class. Because if you look at the soldiers you can unlock for each class. I was kind of confused for this, but I guess it made sense. Like, when you turn level 84, you get the US OGA Sniper. So, I don't know if that gives you anything amazing, but you unlock different types of characters at different levels. Now, I think you can only unlock two characters per um, class in this beta so far, but in all, I think it is 12 characters. It, I think it goes 12 characters, 12 weapons, and 6 classes. One, two, three, four, five, six, yeah. Six classes, 12 characters, and 12 weapons. And a lot of weapon customization. So you also get to paint your weapon. And if you guys want me to make a custom class overview of what you can do in the custom classes menu, I, I, I will do that. So you can paint your weapons. You can have different camos. There's not too much camos in the beta, but hopefully there will be more in the actual game. I was hoping if, like, you use this gun, you get, like, 10 service stars, you get the gun gold. That would be pretty cool. Um, I'm not trying to like make it like Call of Duty or anything, but I'm just saying like it shows off how much you use that weapon, which is pretty cool. So yeah, there's a lot of customization. You can change the stock, the barrels, the ammo, the magazine size. You can change it from a standard clip to a, like a, what's it called? A high cap, or not high cap, I'm thinking about airsoft. <laughs> kind of just a high magazine clip, so instead of having 25 ammo, you have 30 ammo, so you're wasting more ammo each clip. But you have more ammo in that clip, so it's just depending on what kind of playstyle you have. And I just really like this game. It's it's by far one of the best betas I've been in. It doesn't have too much glitches in it, and it's 
it's decent. Actually, another beta I really liked was the Gears of War beta. That was pretty fun, too. But hopefully, the real game will be better than the beta. And, of course, it will be better than the beta. That's all I have to say. And if you guys did enjoy this video, please leave comments on what you guys thought about this video. And also, what you guys want me to post. Because I... I'm not running out of ideas, but I want more things to post, more people to be like, hey, I want you to post this. I'll be like, okay. So, hopefully soon I'll also be posting a montage throughout. Hopefully it's a montage of all classes. It's pretty hard to get certain clips for certain classes, like the sniper class. It's kind of like, oh, you can't go aggressive sniper because... Oh yeah, that's the only thing I don't like. When you're playing the sniper class, when you hit the person in the chest, they don't die in one hit. You have to hit them exactly in the head, and that's where they die. So that's kind of... That's something that's pretty difficult. And the two snipers you have are a, I think it's a McMillan TAC 300, and you, that's a semi-automatic, and then you got a LaRue OBR 7.62, and that's a semi-automatic sniper, which I do not like both of them. Hopefully, they'll be coming out with some new guns. Or, well, they do have new guns, so hopefully they'll have more gun choices. And like Battlefield 3, hopefully in the map packs, they'll come out with more guns. Like... For the demolitions class, they have AA-12s you can use. Um, let's see what else is for the demolitions class. They've got, yeah, AA-12s. Okay, uh, they have a lot of aid. They've got a lot of different types of AA-12s. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't really see too much for the. Oh wait, I just saw something. They've got an M16 PDW, so a personal defense weapon for the demolitions class. So I'm really looking forward for this game to come out. Um, oh, they're just. That's weird. But anyway, I hope you guys do enjoy this video, and if you guys did, please leave a like and subscribe. See you guys later.